Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes The Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks Golf Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, October 20th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. And now this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. They offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. And you can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. And October is National Chiropractic Month, and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment when you mention KC Sports, She KC, or Good Sports. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC magazines. And you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC. KC show. Now this show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway where you can save $5 on any order of $25 or more if you mention KC Sports and Fitness. Visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman on Sh uh, in Shawnee where we are doing our show today and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. You can call in your order here at 913-631-5716 or at their other location at 913-677- 1844. You can also visit their website, shawneepizza.com. Now today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510, Saturdays at 8 a.m., and our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m., and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. And now you can also view our show, this show, and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our latest issue of She KC is now available at over 500 locations, and our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations. And this month, with our current issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our Chiefs report presented by Bud Light. And this month, we analyze the Chiefs' slow start and what that means to the team for the rest of the season and to the fans. Plus, we get excited about the draft possibilities uh, the Chiefs will have to pick a franchise quarterback in the next draft if the season continues to spiral. And in our new hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we have an article on youth hockey. We also give you an update on the construction of the brand new outdoor NHL size ice rink, which is scheduled to open at the KC Ice Center in mid-November. And in SheKC, we have a story on KC's 2012 Olympic gold medal winner, Shannon Vreeland. Plus, we show you how KC is a hot spot for colleges recruiting soccer players for their women's teams. You can pick up your copy of our current issue of KC Sports at Burger King at both Minsky's on Barry Road, Mr. Good Sense, the Kansas City Ice Center, here at Old Shawnee Pizza where we're doing our show, the Fieldhouse of KC, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You will find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website. And you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website as well. And our publication, She KC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Plus, you can visit our website, uh, She KC. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook by searching She KC, all one word, or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, as I mentioned, we are coming to you here from Old Shawnee Pizza. I am doing the whole show myself today, doing the audio, doing the video switching and things like that. I do have some guests, thank goodness, who are going to carry the load in this show today, uh, uh, if they pay attention, you know. <laughs> uh, but, and our first guest is Greg Pryor. He is from the 1985, he's a World Series champ. Casey Royal, um, his wife, he and his wife Michelle are the owners of Life Priority, which is a line of nutritional supplements. Now, Greg is a regular contributor to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and he provides information 
on nutritional supplements that can help each of us. Uh, now today we're going to discuss some healthy solutions we can all use with Greg. But first, we have a few baseball questions. Of course, we always start out with baseball questions with Greg. Welcome to the show, Greg. Thanks for joining great, us. Great to be here, Steve. And uh, what a great job you've done uh, setting up the, <laughs> the set here for us. Ah, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty easy. We've done it. We've done it for a couple of years here, so we can we can do that. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'm, I hit the record button. So <laughs> well, we've we've got a packed house here at Old Shawnee Pizza. Yeah. So it's uh, it's going to be a great show. For sure. Now, uh, let's start off with current stuff. Your thoughts on the baseball playoffs? Well, you know, the Tigers, have, uh, they, they, we thought they'd win the American League uh, division uh, that they were in, and then uh, now they're peaking at the right time. They, they just swept the Yankees. Uh, they're going to be in the World Series, uh, you know, coming up here next week. And, you think uh, so? Huh? Well, and then, <laughs> and then the, the, the great uh, series still going on is the Giants and the Cardinals. Right. And, uh, it's it's great. I'm glad they're going back to San Francisco. Uh, it would have been uh, nasty uh, for the Giants to get swept there in St. Louis. So now they're going back to San Francisco, and we'll find out uh, Tuesday or Monday uh, who's going to play the Tigers. Well, we certainly hope it's the Cardinals coming from St. Louis, of course, and that 12, 12 in 2012 thing is kind of a neat thing. And, and, you know, having grown up with that Redbird, you know, I, act I actually had a moment in my life where I got to wear their, their jersey. I got to wear the, bat the Bat Boy jersey. I was Bat Boy for a day for the Cardinals way back in 1969. Sorry, I shouldn't say that, but I was like 13 years old, and I got to wear the jersey and, of course, you know, be out at Bush Stadium and be on yeah. the field and, that and stuff like that. Of course, you know, no big deal to you. But you Well, know. you know, both but teams have overcome a lot of adversity. The Cardinals lost uh, Pujols, uh, yeah. Tony, Tony La Russa, and Dave Duncan. Yeah. And uh, the Giants, uh, you know, they've got a lot of no-name players on that team. Uh, and then they lost their uh, the, the National League leading hitter, mm -hmm. former Kansas City Royal Melky Cabrera, mm -hmm. who was suspended. Uh, so, you know, both teams have really gone through a lot of adversity. And I'm uh, really excited about watching the next two games of the uh, National League uh, championships. Should be fun, especially if they follow along with the, the World Series, uh, you know, type of excitement that the, the Cardinals brought last year. So, right. you know, it should be a lot of fun. Now, you were with the Royals, but before that you were with the White Sox. And uh, we were talking about wearing the uniform. Uh, when you were with the White Sox, you wore those funky uniforms with the big long collars and the, the I think you called them culottes, uh, which, you know, the, yeah. sh the shorter pants and all well, that you stuff. You know, the, the owner of that team was Bill Veck, and uh, his uh, wife, Mary Frances Veck, uh, liked the old-time looking uniform. Sure. So uh, one year she designed uh, these uh, uniforms that you wore outside the pants. The lapel was very, very large. The pants were not uh, were short. They were kind of like culottes. Mm -hmm. They went down the mid-thigh, not like today where they – or mid to calf, not more today where they go down mid shoe. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was a comfortable uniform. and It was easy to put on, and uh, it was comfortable to play in. It didn't look that good because it was <laughs> navy blue and it looked like black. But uh, anyway, we got past it, and it didn't I, I didn't. It didn't bother me at all. And now, you know, see what they're doing in baseball is they're wearing old-time uniforms. Yeah, now. all the time. So yeah. she, she was on to something. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, that's, that's just one of the things that they do, and I keep on forgetting to switch over to me. Hello. Hello. I keep on forgetting to do that. I'm doing the multitasking here. Um, you know, one of the other things that happened when you were with the White Sox is something for us old-timers that we remember. I was working in radio at the time, so it was meaningful to me. It was the Disco Demolition Derby when Disco started uh, there was a big uproar in uh, the music community and with people and they hated disco and things like that now you were with the White Sox something happened one day uh, you know what happened well the son of uh, Bill Veck uh, Mike Veck uh, it knew the uh, one of the top rock and roll disc jockeys in Kansas City Steve Dahl and uh, they came up with this idea to uh, blow up disco because they didn't like disco they liked rock and roll so they had a promotion at Comiskey Park uh, where people that brought a, a 33 and a third record to the game would could get in for a reduced price. <laughs> so what happened was that I think every rock and roll fan in Kansas or in, in Chicago, in Chicago. Yeah. showed up and they brought their record, got into the game for a reduced rate, and in in the middle of a doubleheader they piled all these records up uh, on top of dynamite in center field, and they were going to absolutely blow up all the records. Uh, so th there were banners all over the stadium. There were 44,000 people up there. I was a shortstop for the first game and. And uh, they, they, when they blew up the uh, records, uh, we were getting ready for the second game. 
and uh, the fans uh, were invited to come on the field. So you got 10,000, 20,000. Oh, my 000, gosh. 20, 10 or 20,000 fans came onto the field. They, 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 couldn't, they wouldn't get off. They started tearing up home plate. Uh, they, they started storming our clubhouse. Uh, we had to uh, have our – we were barricaded in our clubhouse. The mounted police, we could hear the horses right outside our clubhouse. We were in there for like an hour, hour and a half before they could get uh, control of the fans. The game was for, the second game was forfeited to the Detroit Tigers uh, by the American League uh, uh, president, Lee, I think it was Lee McPhail. So it was, I think it was the only time in the history of baseball where uh, fans uh, rioting caused <laughs> one team to forfeit a game. And, uh, you know, they, it's online. People can go and uh, Google uh, Disco Demolition and see videos. And I was right in the middle of it. Uh, I, I tried to get out to watch it, but uh, the, the fans were rioting. They, tried to, they were trying to come in our clubhouse again. It was really a scary day. For sure, I, I, I bet it. I bet it was. Um, now let's take. Let's turn to your great article that you have in uh, the current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness. You talk about something that you did in 1996, and that was participate in a nationally televised TV show. Uh, you have previous experience doing this TV stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, in- introducing a product that now is kind of looked at as a regular solution for joint pain. First of all, fill us in on on that. Well, back in 96, uh, no, not very many people knew about glucosamine. It wasn't in any stores. Uh, it wasn't offered at drug stores or anywhere. The only people that were really using glucosamine were veterinarians, uh, and they would give it to their uh, to the animals, horses. And most real uh, high class horse horse horses use glucosamine in their mm. feed. Mm. So I, I heard about it on a flight heading to Las Vegas to a health food show. I couldn't bend uh, my the middle finger of my right hand. I just the, the knuckle was so uh, it was almost like I couldn't hold my golf club. So was uh, it arthritis? Or? Well, I, I don't know what it was, Steve. Uh, I, I never I didn't go to the doctor to find mm-hmm. out. I just heard about this stuff, uh, mm-hmm. glucosamine, and I started taking it. And I, in mm-hmm. the first day, it didn't work. The first week, it didn't work. And I was overdosing a little bit because I wanted to make sure that I found out if it worked or not. In the third week, I was at my computer, and uh, I could I felt, felt mm. the flexibility coming back in, mm. my, in my finger. And then at the fourth or fifth week, it was all gone. And then I told my wife, Michelle, I said, hey, we need to start selling this. So I found a uh, very uh, qualified uh, manufacturer. That, that makes the raw ingredient. We buy the raw ingredient ourselves. We put it in capsules and bottles, and, and uh, we put it uh, out in stores locally. Uh, it's a joint decision. It's simple glucosamine hydrochloride, but uh, it, I know where the ingredient comes from, which differentiates me from a lot of companies out there where you walk up and ask where they where they get it, and they won't be able to tell you. But it's in in all the nuts and bolts, uh, true value stores in Kansas City. It's a Strasser hardware, and uh, they can go online and uh, get it from me. But uh, at lifepriority.com. But uh, this has been a wonderful thing. Now, now I think everybody in the listening that has joint pain probably has heard about it. Sure. And they have opinions. So if they want to uh, learn about it or ask me questions, uh, they certainly can get a hold of me through my website. Now, what actually is going on? You mentioned, uh, you know, the issue with your knuckle, but, you know, what, what actually is going on that uh, in your body that causes you to need the glucosamine? Well, everybody's body uh, has glucosamine because your body makes it from food. And if your if your food supply or the glucosamine uh, that is produced by your body from food uh, doesn't keep up with the wear and tear, the cartilage gets thin, and it and when it gets thin, the bones get closer, and there's irritation. It's it's uh, it's called, they, some people call it osteoarthritis. I I call it inflammation. So in many many cases, all the body needs is a little bit more glucosamine to to help get into the fluid around each uh, joint with synovial fluid, and the cartilage sees it and and it and it expands and it cushions more, so the pain goes away. And it's 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 there's no uh, side effects uh, on my bottle. If if there were any side effects, I'd be putting uh, the side effects on the bottle. And uh, I I advise all athletes to take it because it does help with um, inflammation uh, with small tissues also. But the main uh, uh, value of it is to help keep the cartilage healthy. So if people want to avoid the problems of existing uh, joint inflammation or if they want to uh, prevent it, I advise them to take it uh, as a in 40, people 45 and up, and some young, younger people can take it, but most people don't get a lot of joint pain until they're uh, 45 and up because their cartilage is getting worn over time. Right, yeah, and, and you mentioned you know, great for athletes. Uh, you know, at what age? Could you start taking that? I mean, you're talking high school athletes, or, uh, or it depends. So? I, I I would uh, 
go to a, a doctor, I guess, or mm -hmm. an osteopath if you mm -hmm. have a child that has mm -hmm. a joint pain. But uh, the, the, it's not, as I said, it comes out of food. It's not like you're putting something in that the body's not used to. And sometimes just adding a little bit more of something that's good for the cartilage is all that all it would take. So, uh, but most of the people that take it, I think, are the ones that uh, have daily pain. And, and I feel bad for people that are taking. And, and I am not against taking a lot of uh, taking painkillers. Some people, some people have to do that. But uh, I would say uh, glucosamine should be the first line of defense for thinning cartilage and, and osteoarthritis. For sure. And um, now, what about chondroitin? Uh, you don't have chondroitin in your product. What They've paired yeah. those two things well, we, together. Well, we, we have it in a product called a Total Joint Complex, okay. which I, which I okay. sell. And, and okay. I, I, I advise people that uh, only in severe cases uh, do I tell people to use the Total Joint Complex, which has uh, five different ingredients in it. Uh, it. They should start on glucosamine first and see if that works. If not, they can go into chondroitin. The body makes chondroitin also, but it... it, it it is made from the ingestion of glucosamine. Ah. So basically, and the, the chondroitin molecule is really large, and you really have to know what you're taking because if the body can't absorb it and put it to work, then it's a waste of money. And chondroitin is a lot more expensive than glucosamine. I so see. so I, uh, for years, I, I didn't sell any uh, product with glucos uh, chondroitin, but I have a lot of chiropractors that said, Greg, I need you to put chondroitin in it. So we did it when mostly we sell our total joint complex through chiropractors. I see. Um, now, fish oil is also good for uh, joint issues, is it not? Yeah, you know, it's, I'm glad you brought that up because today before the show I was uh, thinking to myself, well, how can I help people understand in a quick way about joint pain? There's a lot of nutrients, uh, Steve, that the body should be getting in, their di in the diet to help with joint pain inflammation and glucosamine is the cornerstone but there's a number of other ones I, too, too many to go over on this show but uh, omega-3 is one that has been shown to help with joint inflammation and omega-3 helps a lot of different parts of the body and you know you know if people think they're getting omega-3 from their diet if they're eating deep sea fish maybe but I, I I'm a fish oil guy I sell omega-3 priority is one of our products and so and I know that's a high, higher grade than what they might get in a store and I'm, I'm really happy that um, you know, I'm, I can have that product available to them also. Now, are there any side effects to taking the glucosamine product that you guys know of? Well, you know, since it comes from shellfish, most of it, uh, a lot of bottles you'll see uh, and people will say, well, I'm allergic to shellfish. Well, this is the molecule that comes out of the shell of a crustacean. A crustacean could be a shrimp, crab, or lobster. And it, it's the molecule. It's not the meat of the fish. So I don't have, uh, uh, you know, be, be careful if you're allergic to shellfish on my bottle because after selling tens of thousands of bottles to this point now, <laughs> I haven't had one buddy, so anybody call me with any sure. complaints. So sure. it's safe as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, I, you know, sometimes uh, the, recommend do the recommended dosage is 15 out of milligrams a day. But in some severe cases, uh, I suggest that people take a little bit more. Uh, and I can do that one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't do that on my bottle. Right. So how often uh, should people take the joint decision? Well, you know, it depends. If they want to prevent uh, a joint pain, they can take one capsule a day. If they have existing joint pain, they can take three a day. And if they're really active in, in the sports and they're really grinding, if they're doing marathons or they're doing triathlons, then they should take uh, maybe two capsules three times a day. It really depends on the wear and tear, how bad of condition their cartilage is, how much pain they're in. And, and it's their own, it's their own uh, joints that they're uh, dealing with. And everybody's body's different and uh, everybody eats different. Everybody ages differently. But uh, I, the bottle suggests three capsules a day. Right. And uh, we've got a special offer uh, for any of the Life Priority products. If you um, go to their website, lifepriority.com, and when you're checking out, you uh, type in uh, the special code LIFEP, L-I-F-E-P. You'll get free shipping on any of the products, including Joint Decision or any of the other products that uh, Greg and Michelle offer uh, through their website. And, again, it's Life Priority. Dot com. Now, uh, many of your products were actually developed by a couple of really brainy people. You want to tell us on the, the connection that you have there? Yeah, Steve, I got into business uh, because I met uh, two people that wrote the book uh, Life Extension, uh, a practical scientific approach. Uh, they wrote it for doctors to help doctors understand nutrients and what they can do for the body. When I met Dirk and Sandy in Dallas at a meeting, and I've learned that there, there's a lot of more value to nutrients than I ever thought, uh, we, we started using the formulas called designer food formulas, uh, and I was amazed at how you could take certain nutrients and feel them. 
Mm-hmm. You know, we have two products, uh, our Lift and our Mind. Right. The Lift, uh, it, it will eliminate mental fatigue very quickly. And the Mind uh, helps to create more neurotransmitters in the brain so that you don't have to search for words and you can listen and speak more coherently, we hope. So those are two that I started using at first, and I knew they worked because I could feel them work. I, I, t- I offered them to Michelle, my wife, and she, she started using them. And now we ship them all over the country, and they're not, uh, you know, they're not well known in Kansas City or across the the country because you know we're just a small company here in Kansas. But if people in Kansas City uh, want to know a little bit more about nutrients and what they could do for the body, uh, we've got uh, a great uh, research scientist that we work with. Their names are on our bottles, a lot of them. Uh, so we're very proud to represent their products in the marketplace. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, we've only got about 45 seconds or so. Again, I want to mention that special offer uh, for our viewers and our listeners. Uh, go to Greg's website, lifepriority.com. Uh, when you're checking out, type in the letters LIFE, P-L-I-F-E-P, and you'll get free shipping on the products that you order. And, and give these products a try. And, and Greg, give us uh, other information on how people can reach you to find out more information. And I know you'll you'll talk to people about what their needs are. Yeah, you know, go to my website. Uh, I'll, I'll be glad to communicate with you via email. Uh, if you want me to call you, send me your phone number. Uh, I'd love to see uh, hear what you're taking. If you want me to evaluate your nutritional diet, uh, for a program that you're on. I'd be glad to maybe help you spend your money more wisely. And then you know, I'll give you some information about uh, things in the marketplace that are happening uh, that might help you live a healthier life. And uh, we have a newsletter, and we will be glad to send you our newsletter. And you can always uh, follow Greg in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. He's always contributing a new article on uh, a different health solution that's available to you. Uh, thanks a lot, Greg, for okay, joining Steve. us. I really appreciate Good it. Here. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. We're coming to you from Old Shawnee Pizza, which is located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Go online and watch Good Sports, the KC Sports Magazine television show. It's available on the Good Sports KC YouTube channel and features local interviews with local athletes and experts covering sports, health, and exercise topics of importance to KC fans. And be sure to pick up your copy of the new KC Sports and Fitness Magazine featuring the Siege Sports High School Report, the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report, the KC Ice Center Hockey Report, the Great Life Golf Report, and the Bud Light Chiefs Report. KC Sports Magazine is always free, so pick one up today. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month is National Chiropractic Health Month, and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment. Just mention KC Sports or She KC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you're playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. 
Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913-438-5433. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrew's Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrew's at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. If you're looking to upgrade or downsize your home, contact Katie Forrest at Reese & Nichols. She's been representing sellers and buyers in Kansas and Missouri since 1996 and can get your goals met. Call Katie at 913-226-5947. Tailgating and professional indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com. Welcome to the CollegiateCamel.com Halftime Report here on Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines. I am Steve Fish. This show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can save $5 off any order of $25 or more if you mention KC Sports and Fitness. Visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we are today, and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. Call your order here at 913-631-5716 or at their other location at 913-677-1844. You can also visit their website, shawneepizza.com. Now, this segment of the collegiatecamo.com halftime report is brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. So the next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Call 866-514-8747 for details or visit their website, uh, firstcharterbus.com. It's also brought to you by collegiatecamo.com. Collegiate Camo combines your love of outdoors and loyalty to your favorite college sports team. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats and headwear, shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other camouflage college logos products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. Visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products for, from your school that you can proudly display. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. This month, we interview Jayhawk quarterback Dane Christ, uh, Wildcat tight end Travis Tannehill, and Tiger freshman starting guard and former Lee Summit High School grad Evan Bame. And in She KC, we feature a story on the benefits of exercising in the morning, plus introduce you to Denise Lewis, a local runner who proves that you can take on new athletic endeavors at 40. Now, you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center and at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 87th and Lackman, in Lenexa and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. You'll find SheKC at over 500 locations, and you can find those locations on our website, SheKC.com. Now, if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages. Our websites are KCSportsPaper.com and SheKC.com. And now you can view our current show that we're taping today and our past shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel when you go to YouTube.com. Now, we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and they include CollegiateCamo.com, the sponsor of this segment of Good Sports. The Kansas City Renegades professional indoor football team tailgating and indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2012 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com and continue to follow the team in Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Plus, PM Sleep Lab, over 60 million Americans suffer from one or more of the 80 different sleep disorders, and PM Sleep Lab has a staff of sleep disorder specialists 
who will help you diagnose those problems. Uh, they'll work with your physician to treat their, your condition and improve your overall health. Give PM Sleep Labs one night for a lifetime of better sleep. For more information or to set up a study at one of their three KC locations, call them at 913-721-5511 or visit pmsleeplabs.com. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in She KC, and they are Kansas City Chiropractic, Katie Forrest, uh, Reese and Nichols Real Estate Office, Hitmix USA Mobile DJ Entertainment, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Pulofsky and Associates, The Heart of America Havoc Professional Volleyball Team, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, The Missouri Comets, Gardens of Delight, Yoga, Heritage College, The Field House, The Surplus Exchange, and Wells Fargo Financial Advisor, Melanie Apodaca. Uh, now, uh, that's our Collegiate Camo Halftime Report, and we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazine show. We're coming to you from Old Shawnee Pizza, located at 61st and Neiman, a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Collegiate Camo combines your love of the outdoors and loyalty to your favorite college sports team. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats and headwear, shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other camouflage college logo products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. Visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products from your school that you can proudly display. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman, and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. Come check out KC's premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. The Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, from player skill development, athletic performance enhancement, and character enrichment. Youth and men's leagues, sports camps, exercise, and more. The Fieldhouse builds the athlete inside the player. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. Call 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Donate your life-saving blood every Monday during football season at Community Blood Center and receive a free large Papa Murphy's pizza. For details, like CBC on Facebook or click SaveAlifeNow.org. 
MISL Soccer is back at the Independence Event Center starting November 2nd. Come cheer on your Missouri Comets at their home opener. For more information on tickets for the Missouri Comets, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. Weddings, holiday parties, reunions, corporate events, team parties, and school. For music for any special occasion, contact HitMix USA Mobile DJ Entertainment. For more information, visit HitMixUSA.com. Back to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I'm Steve Fish. Now, this show is being taped at Old Shawnee Pizza, located at 61st and Neiman, half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway, where you can save $5 on any order of $25 or more if you mention KC Sports and Fitness. You can visit their two locations, 61st and Neiman in Shawnee, where we're doing our show today, and 34th and Gibbs in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, you can call in your order here at 913 913- 631-5716 or at their other location at 913-677-1844. You can also visit their website, shawneepizza.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can take a tax donation credit, plus help KC students when you recycle your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. Their next uh, recycling event is on October 29th at the Bridgeport Community Center in North Kansas City. And for more information, you can visit their website, Surplus exchange.org. You can also call them at 816-472-0444. Now, I also want to mention some of the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the Plaza, former Royal World Series great uh, Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share, just like he did in the la- in a segment earlier today, uh, share nutritional supplement information with us, and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more, and you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, or SheKC. Now, to read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings and the Sport Clips all over KC. And SheKC is available at over 500 locations. Now, this month's SheKC, we introduce you to Casey's Ann Gaffigan, who's going to be joining us in just a few seconds. She is helping open doors for female athletes, plus we write about eating disorders and the pressure female athletes have to remain competitive. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness, and we give you advice on how to simplify your game. And in our high school report presented by Siege Sports, we write about the Fort Osage Indians and their quarterback Steve McBee and tight end Devontae Mosby. Now, I also want to mention that on October 27th, we will be at Oliver's Pizzeria, which is located on 135th Street in the Parkway Plaza between Knoll and Rowe, and our taping will start at about 12.30 that day. And also in November, we will be back at the Field House of Kansas City, which is located on 135th and Quivira. Now on November 10th, we will be back here at Old Shawnee Pizza, located a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road, and our taping will start about 12.30 that day. On November 17th, we will be at the Kansas City Ice Center for the grand opening of the Outdoor Ice Pavilion, and the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive, and as like the other uh, shows, our taping will start probably about 12.30 that day. So come on out and join us for these events, and you might see yourself on TV. Now, I want to mention that the Missouri Comets season starts up next month, and we've got tickets we're giving away to one of their upcoming games. In fact, we have five pair of tickets, and all you have to do to enter to win is email us your information. Our email address is freestuff at kcsportspaper.com. Freestuff, all one word, at kcsportspaper.com. We also have an entry form in the October issue of KC Sports, so enter and you might win. And now we are joined, as I'd mentioned, we're joined by Ann Gaffigan. Uh, She has her own web development company, which is called Gazelle Incorporated. She's also one of the people behind the website womentalksports.com. She's also featured in an article on page three of the current issue right off the presses, came off the press yesterday uh, of SheKC. Uh, welcome to the show, Anne. Thank, Thank you, you for Thank joining you for us. Having me. Now, first off, let's let's talk about your background. Um, you were quite an athlete, uh, actually a world champion. Uh, no, when w- national national champion. champion. Okay, don't uh, want to overstate it. Too uh, much. World champion to us. Uh, <laughs> when you. was this, uh, and what was your sport? Um, well, I was a track and field athlete at the University of Nebraska, and then um, for a professional uh, for New Balance as a professional for about four years. 
And um, I started my professional career in 2004 at the Olympic Trials. My event is the steeplechase, which... Um, I'm going to ask you to explain the steeplechase. Okay, I'll just go well. ahead. I figured that was yeah. coming, so I'll just yeah. go ahead and do that. I usually have to. Um, it was a brand new event for women uh, at the NCAA level when I was a freshman. And um, it's it's been an event for men for a long time, but it's still kind of little known because not a lot of high schoolers do it. And essentially, it's a long hurdle race it's uh been referred to as human equestrian so okay i was wondering that and i was afraid to say isn't that kind of like what they do on the horses it very much <laughs> is the you know the the wide uh barriers that you jump over um they don't collapse like the regular hurdles there's a water pit after one of the hurdles so there's there's five of those barriers per lap and one of them has a 12 foot long water pit after it and um you run around the track seven and a half times or so and uh it's pretty grueling it's pretty fun Seven and a half times around the track would be grueling by itself. It is anyway. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. true. That's true. W w it's without, doubly grueling. Yeah, without having to do the jumps and things like that. Exactly. So, so, w so what made you pick that as your sport? You know, when I uh, got done with my senior year in high school, I had signed with the University of Nebraska, and I sat down next to my future coach at a meet that he was at that was nearby. My dad had taken me to, and he said, I think we're going to have you try the steeplechase. And I said, yeah. And he said, yeah, you know, you're an all-around athlete. I'd grown up playing soccer a lot, too, and some other sports. And he said, I just want you to try it. It's a brand-new event, and I think that it's a way to kind of get in and have some success before everybody else figures it out. And so that's what I did. Very cool, very cool. So that was uh, back in, in 2004. You went to some o Olympic tryouts. That was the end of my collegiate career, yep. And I kind of um, surprisingly qualified for the Olympic trials, um, my final meet of my collegiate career, and all of a sudden was going to run as a pro, and I hadn't previously planned on that. And um, it was not an Olympic event yet in 2004 for women, um, so it was an exhibition event at the trials. It wasn't going to qualify us for anything, and they – had a final only. They didn't, uh, you know, they made the, the time restriction low enough so that only 12 people qualified and they just had one race. And it was just exhibition only. And um, I ended up having a great day. I PR'd by 20 seconds. And what does PR'd mean? Pr sorry. Uh, set a personal record. Oh, okay. So okay. Uh, it was 20 seconds faster than I had run before. And I won and set an American record. Now, Th that's huge. 20 seconds is a huge amount for, you know, for anything. I mean, you know, we, uh, we talk to a lot of people that, you know, talk about uh, taking a fraction of a second off of their time, you know, in basketball or in soccer or, mm -hmm. or you know, the 40 and things like that. And I know it's a different thing than, than seven and a half times around, around sure. the course, but 20 seconds Still is a, a really lot. long time. Yeah, um, it was just one of those seasons that I just kept taking time off like crazy. And, um, you know, being in that atmosphere at the Olympic trials with – you know, sellout crowd and all of these, you know, famous athletes that I looked up to warming up in the same area I was warming up in. And I had zero pressure on me because I was, I qualified 12th out of 12. So I would just, I was just there to have fun and see what I could do. And I was just in the zone that day. So it was, it was one of the most memorable days of my life for sure. <laughs> now, but it has to be very bittersweet in a sense, because you're here at this incredible place with all these other athletes who are qualifying to make the Olympics. Right. And you do it, but you can't go. Yeah. Um, how do you know, I mean, mm -hmm. that, that had to be really a, a sad day. I mean, you know, how you do know, you know, it was almost uh, sad after the fact, not during it, because I don't think it hit me. You know, mm -hmm. it, um, it was such a surprise for me to win that I was extremely happy and, you know, beside myself. And it took a few days and maybe even months um, to really realize that it was disappointing, it was bittersweet. And I remember watching the um, opening ceremonies of the Olympics and thinking, wow, it would be so cool to be there. And, you know, these are people I've looked up to forever. And then, wait a minute, I should be there. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's really, uh, you know, kind of a confusing thing in your mind to try to reconcile. <laughs> For sure, and I'm sure years, a few years later, it's only been a few years, uh, <laughs> it's still a difficult thing. But that kind of sets you uh, into a uh, campaign to, one, add the steeplechase to the Olympics for women, and then additional things as well. Um, 
you know, to, to get more recognition for women in sports as well. Can, uh, fill right. us in on the efforts that you went through to get it added. Yeah, well, shortly after the trials in 2004, I started talking to this guy named um, Dr. Fields who had been sending out steeplechase results for women for, from all over the world for a couple years. And I was subscribed to his updates via email. And I said, hey, you know, we should really get this stuff on a website. And so he helped me, you know, with getting the information up and stuff, a bunch of all-time lists. And he would send me results each week from Russia and Germany and, you know, anywhere. Wow. And um, we'd put them on our site. And it was kind of just a – I almost felt like I just needed to do something. And I didn't really know what I could do, but I just wanted to do something. I wanted to make sure that the steeplechase was gaining an awareness for women. And um, another piece of that site was to, to – combine the efforts of all of us female steeplechasers to go to meets and say, hey, we will race at your meet if you'll put our event on the schedule. Because that was a hard thing for us to find mm -hmm. back then was a meet that would hold a women's steeplechase. Mm -hmm. And we needed to race so that we could qualify for USAs and, you know, anything else. And um, so we kind of banded together to fight for those things and, um, and to just kind of have our voices heard in the general public about the steeplechase, which, you know, that can, that can help at the very top level, that groundswell of voices, grassroots movement, as they say, um, it helps the people at the top realize, hey, there's people out there running the women's steeple. They wanted to be at the Olympics. They wanted to be in the world championships, et cetera, et cetera. And so we actually came very close to not being added to the Olympics hmm. because in 2005, we had to be added to the world championships or else it would be too late to get added to the Olympics. So that was three years before 2008. And, um, I remember that summer, Dr. Fields and I exchanging emails about whether or not the steeplechase was going to, in fact, get added. And it did, and so then it was almost a no-brainer to get added to the Olympics. But you just can't take that stuff for granted, and stuff like that doesn't change unless you speak up. Someone's got to sure. speak up. And so, you know, it's not like I single-handedly got the steeplechase added to the Olympics by any means. But <laughs> everybody talking together does make a big difference. So um, I kind of carried that through into a larger concern for women's sports um, awareness participation uh, professionalism as a whole yeah and um, you know w with the experience that you had you saw the inequity between men's sports and women's sports because as you said men's steeplechase was in the Olympics and had always been in the Olympics and you didn't have that opportunity to do that uh, things have changed a little bit there have mm -hmm. been there have been some movement you know obviously we, we in our last issue of she kc we have a, a an image of uh, one of the players for a wnba team who came from kansas city played for ku um there's a I, i've been talking with the heart of america they've got pro volleyball team the havocs that are coming here i know we did an article about a kansas city uh, female who played collegiate um, soccer and she's played professionally as well at the um I think it was in Philadelphia. I think she was mm -hmm. playing. Well, are you aware of uh, uh, the local semi-pro soccer team that's forming? No. no. Um, I need Kansas to know that. Yeah. I have to write uh, that down. They ought, to be, they ought to be on your show, actually. Uh, yeah. Kansas City Shock, who okay. they have actually um, gained membership in the WPSL, Women's Professional Soccer League. And it's actually a semi-pro league, I believe. They have about 70-some-odd teams. And wow. um, they, they – um, you know, have done all of those, you know, the paperwork to become mm -hmm. a team in the league. And I believe they're having combines this fall and or in winter um, to get get their roster. They have a coach and KansasCityShock.com is their website. And so we're pretty soon we're going to have a semi-pro soccer team. It, so it's, it is growing. It is getting better. It makes perfectly logical sense with, this, with the uh, power and the strength that the women's um, – Olympic soccer team had, oh yeah, you know, and the pull that they've had uh, and the exposure that they've had, it makes perfectly logical sense to go that way. It does. I mean, I think, you know, the U.S. women's soccer team, the success that they've had um, at the World Cup and then at the Olympics, and not just winning or getting second, but the public awareness of them and the and the fandom that occurred um, in reaction to them shows you the market for women's soccer around the world, but in America specifically. Mm -hmm. And yet we still don't have a sustainable, successful professional league. And it's just a matter of time. Yeah. I mean, if you look back at the NBA and the NFL and how many decades it took and how many billions of dollars that they lost to make those leagues successful, um, you know, women's professional soccer and even professional basketball are really in their infancy. 
And, you know, every year they want to, they want to, the talking heads want to say, oh, the WNBA, is it going to survive? And it only survives because the NBA feeds money to them, et cetera, et cetera. Well, that's the only reason anything really survives is someone feeds it money long enough. Mm -hmm. And the WNBA every year gets better and better attendance, not just during the playoffs, but during the regular season. And it's just a matter of time. And it's also, also a matter of a culture shift. Right. And that's kind of what we've seen um, from the beginning of establishing WomenTalkSports.com almost uh, four years ago. And now, and just seeing the increase in the people who write to us and say they want to contribute. And the different kinds of people who start coming to our site and commenting. And the traffic going up. And I think ESPNW has um, made big strides in terms of the culture as well. And just people becoming aware of women's sports as a real thing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's not just something you can ignore. It's out there. Um, it's interesting because they're all struggling. You know, there's no women's professional sport that's totally established and doing just great, except for maybe tennis. Right. And golf, maybe? Yeah, maybe. The LPGA struggles, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, maybe doing a little better than... It's always easier for the individual sports to do a little better. Sure. But, you know, the stories are interesting because there's a lot of drama when some when things are... Sh- when things are struggling and so i think um slowly we are seeing a culture shift for acceptance and awareness of women's sports and also not being so darn surprised you know it used to be (laughs) whenever you heard about a female athlete it was because she was exceptionally beautiful or exceptionally good at what she did or exceptionally something or she did something you know that got her in a lot of trouble right so that shock factor right whether it's beauty or, you know, crime or she really is that awesome of an athlete. Whereas more and more we're seeing female athletes get attention just because they're awesome, not because they're <laughs> some, you know, some some way out of the norm where we just have to talk about them. No, or it's they're in the regular conversation. So that's a culture shift. They're talented. And, and yet I have to ask, and I think it's, it's this way, uh, with all the medals that were won, by U.S. women mm-hmm. in the Olympics more than men, that has to be a, something that's m- helping to make that change. Well, it's I mean, huge. It has to be huge. Yeah. It's huge, and there was a lot of press about that, and that was good. Um, I mean, it was awesome. That being said, um, it also shows that the women have, in my opinion, outgrown where the Olympics is still keeping them. Um, the fact that you know, there were more women in the Olympics than men is interesting, not just because there's more women in the Olympics than the men this year, but because there are easily a hundred less medal opportunities for women at the Olympics than men. So all of the same sports are now in the Olympics for women as they are for men. But for example, in wrestling, there's two styles of wrestling for men, freestyle and Roman Greco. And I think there's seven weight classes in each. Hmm. For women, there's freestyle only and four weight classes. So it's 30 medals that women cannot compete for. Wow. And in boxing, you know, boxing is a brand new event for women, and that marked the final sport that needed to get added that wasn't already in the, right. in the Olympics for women that's in for men. And for boxing, I believe there's 10 weight classes for the men and three for the women. So, again, 21 medals. So, you know, we're winning more medals than the men, and we don't even have as many to win. It kind of shows me, you know, the uh, Olympics need to catch up a little bit. Agreed. Agreed totally. And they, they got four years to go. They I do. guess two I guess two years. If They're making strides, the, so, you if know. If you're talking about the, the winner. Um, we've only got a, a couple of minutes left, but uh, you're on the board of the Track and Field Ath- Athletes Association. Mm-hmm. Um What's the focus and what are some of the goals that you guys have with that? Um, yeah, another iron in the fire. Um, we are just trying to professionalize the experience for the elite track and field athlete. We've never had a association or union that represents the professional track and field athlete. And there are a lot of issues um, from contract negotiations to sponsors to, you know, marketing rules and marketing rights, et cetera, that athletes deal with. Um, and it's a very cutthroat rough sport to make it in and so we finally have pro- have professionalized and, and uh, formed an association representing our collective voice and we're international so we've got Sonia Richard Ross and Allison Felix and Tyson Gay and we have Usain Bolt and Veronica Campbell and Shelly Shelly and Fraser Price we've got all the big track and field stars finally willing to work for the smaller athletes that are struggling a little bit more so I'm, that's kind of my newest thing that I'm really excited to be a part of and to be able to make a difference 
what's the website for that is as if people want to check out more information on, all spelled on out track and field athletes association.org and how can people reach you? You 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 tweet a lot, Twitter and, and things like that. Okay, so what's and what's Gaff, your Twitter handle? A N N G A F F. Probably the best way. Uh, I love talking to people on Twitter. So be glad to meet you on there. That'll do it for our show today. My thanks to our host for today's show, Will Walker and Old Shawnee Pizza, and our guest, eighty five, a Royal World Series champ and owner of Life Priority, Greg Pryor and Ann Gaffigan from WomenTalkSports.com. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports. The Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. And She KC magazines, you will find them all over Kansas City, and they're free. So pick them up today. These days we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month is National Chiropractic Health Month and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment. Just mention KC Sports or She KC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. The Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. Take advantage of the Oliver's Pizzeria Lunchtime $5 sandwich special with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Enjoy a club, meatball grinder, or barbecue brisket sandwich at lunchtime for just $5 at Oliver's. And Oliver's Pizzeria offers a full range of pizzas with a variety of toppings, sauces, and crust styles. Visit Oliver's at 4800 West 135th Street between Knoll and Row, or go online to oliverspizzeria.com or call 913-851-5111. Unleash your creativity at the Ceramics and Coffee House at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Come out for Family Fun Night, Kids Night Out, or many of the other scheduled events at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Or make your next birthday party, group event, or bridal shower unique at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. And right now, get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Call Paint, Glaze, and Fire at 913-661-CLAY or visit paintglazeandfire.net. The Ceramics and Coffee House, located at 127th and Metcalf. Professional Volleyball is back with the Heart of America Havoc. The Havoc are holding tryouts for post-college women's players on December 1st. For more information, call Kristen at 913-233-0445. 
I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. My snoring was keeping my wife awake at night. She told me that I stopped breathing many times during the night. When that alarm would go off in the morning, I couldn't get out of bed. Even sleeping for 9 or 10 hours would leave me feeling tired the next day. That's because I wasn't sleeping. I had sleep apnea. My doctor sent me for a sleep study at PM Sleep Lab. I feel like a new man now that I sleep through the night. Learn more at pmsleeplab.com with three Kansas City locations. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. 